since I started a lot of these programs inside NSA, um, I know exactly what they do. I know how they organized it, and I know what I know what they did to it to to make it into a bulk acquisition, bulk spying program on everybody in the planet. Uh, they initially started with the U.S. persons, and that's why I left so quickly. Uh, in fact, it took me two and a half weeks to get out of NSA once I found out they were spying on U.S. citizens in bulk. Uh, this is not just metadata. This is not what they're, they're pulling in content to. It's being done under Executive Order 12333, Section 2.3C for U.S. citizens. Uh, that's where they can take in all their content and maintain it and store it and search it, uh, even, uh, even without a warrant. Um, on a massive scale and just call it coincidental collection because they're after that one dope dealer or whatever it is that's on the fiber somewhere. But they can take in everything on the fiber and call it coincidental. And that's the justification they've been using. Um, and uh, they started this bulk acquisition um, early on uh, as a way of getting more and more money. That's been their justification from the beginning. It's been a financial one, that one that builds their empires, builds a uh, massive contracting organizations and massive contracts. I mean, we're talking tens of billions of dollars every year. I mean, the budget for uh, intelligence within the United States is on the order of $100 billion a year. That's for 16 agencies, and they're, get, and they're not audited on how they spend the money, by the way. There is no real oversight. And Congress is simply a puppet for NSA and the intelligence community. They do exactly what they say. In fact, they advocate spying on U.S. citizens. I mean, they were created originally out of the church committee investigations in the 1970s uh, because they, they were spying at that time on U.S. citizens. Uh, and that was a result of, uh, that was after uh, Nixon was impeached for that particular act. That was part of the, un, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, charges that he had to face under impeachment. They are violating their, cons their, their charter in doing and advocating spying on U.S. citizens. But it goes much beyond that. I mean, um, as an intelligence agent, the problem once, once they started this bulk collection is too much data because you can't get through it. It's impossible. It's like making a Google query on a whole set of data every day and getting a million returns and having to go through the million to find your targets and do, do techni technical assessments of, uh, of intentions and capabilities. You simply can't do it. And so therefore they continue to fail. And the principal reason is because they're taking in bulk acquisition stuff. If they didn't do that and did a focused uh, alternative of doing a directed uh, professional uh, disciplined job, they much, have a much greater chance of being able to find and detect intentions and capabilities of terrorists or dope dealers or uh, money launderers or drug smugglers or whatever. Uh, anywhere in the world. Bulk acquisition is simply a way of making the entire intelligence community dysfunctional. It, managers like it because it gets money for them to build their empire, but when it falls down to somebody actually having to do something, that's the analyst at the lowest level trying to figure out what the targets are going to do or intending to do so they can alert to that. Well, I mean, some of the comments that the alerts have, that uh, have been published by The Intercept came out uh, uh, from NSA analysts saying uh, they have, they have been overcome by overload. There's a lot of money involved in this, and a lot of people make money on this, lots of contracts and so on, and empires are built this way. But the cost of that is people die. This is something that we have to really stop and try to, try to stop in any way we can. And for my part, I'm suing the government right now, the second time. First time I won. Second time I'm, going to, I'm suing them now, so I'm going to do that again. It'd be annoying in any way you possibly can by, being, uh, by voicing opposition to this, because this is fundamentally, the way I recognize this immediately, see, I used to work the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact, looking at the Stasi and so on, uh, and it was very clear to me that uh, the U.S. government was adopting totalitarian principles right away by, by boo, doing this bulk acquisition of data, not just on U.S. citizens, but on anybody, because that buries everybody in too much data, and they simply fail. So, but it, but it gives them a great set of information to control their population if they want to do it. Also to do things like industrial espionage. All the bidding would be, would be in there in the encrypted data and they get through the encryption, which I don't think would be too much difficulty. Then they could see the bidding and, and uh, rig the outcome. So there's that, plus there's, they're, they're gathering information on every leader in every government of the world. So that means they have information to be able to blackmail everybody. This data is not just used by NSA. This is the FBI and the DEA and Drug Enforcement Administration. 
going directly into that data with no oversight or, or recording at all by anybody. They use it to, to, uh, for policing issues and so on inside the United States as well as around the world. And it's not being monitored or, or had, and there's no oversight of that at all and there's no admission in a court of law anywhere in the world that they're doing that. So in other words, they perjure themselves in the court of law. Our President Lincoln basically said it uh, when he was dedicating the military cemetery in Gettysburg after the battle. He said the question really is whether a government of the people, by the people, or for the people will perish from this earth. And that means democracy, and that's really what this fight is all about. Privacy is liberty, is democracy, and we need to stand up and fight it and fight for it. Okay.